Hi, I'm going to talk about using Python packages by loading them or installing them yourself on the HPC clusters of Lunark, HPC2, and the Max, and I'll do the exercises for Lunark, uh, which has the Cosmos computer cluster. So the learning objectives are to navigate the documentation, find out where it's documented, how to do this. Uh, we're going to find out which packages are already installed if you load Python, th the Python module that is. Um, we're going to load a module that adds more pre-installed Python packages, and if even and even if there's no module for our package, um, we're going to install a Python package ourselves. And so you want to use packages because they're pre-written pieces of code. And when you want to use one, first you're going to check if it's installed already with the Python module. If that's the case, you're done. If not, you want to use a Python package that's installed in a Python package module. So it's a pre-installed Python package that gets installed, that gets activated when loading a module. Because then it's done by us, you know it works. Um, and to do that, you need to load that specific Python extension module. If it's nowhere to be found at all, you can install it yourself. And these are exactly the three exercises. We'll be verifying if a Python module is already present. When loading Python, we're going to load a Python module to get an extra Python package, mo pa Python package out, and we're going to install a package. So, so Python has packages, and packages are code written by others, and these are installed by package installation systems. And the two most well-known ones at the moment are pip and conda. And pip, we pick that one in this course, because it works on all the three clusters we're using in this course. Um, although conda is sometimes recommended, um, and on some clusters it's mandatory, but that has nothing to do with the course. If you want to know more about Conda, there's this course material here. Let's go through the exercise. So there's a video here, um, but the exercises are threefold. We're going to use a package that comes with the Python module. We use a Python package that comes with the software module that you need to load. And in exercise 3, we install one ourselves. So there are three exercises. The first one is uh, loading a Python package that comes with a Python module. And we've already loaded Python, so then that will be quite simple, but I'll start from including loading Python. And um, we need to use this documentation. It's useful to get well known with your CentOS documentation, so I've put this in this tab here. And we're going to need to load this Python module. Uh, for Lunark it's this one. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to go take a look at, um, I'm going to copy paste this text. And we're going to take a look where I load specific Python modules. So here I already see module spider for some Python module. Um, I guess that is that is the way to go. Python, that, uh, of course there's a lot of Python. Um, yeah, but first log into Cosmos. Um, let's do that. So I will be using SSH. In this exercise, uh, you can use the remote desktop with Thinlink. Visual at cosmos.lunark.lu.se. Their password, pocket pass OTP. Give the pin code for that 767666. There we go. So I'm on Lunark now, and I need to find this package from this Python package. And the documentation says to do module spider. I've saw it somewhere, module spider. Yeah, for example, this one. So I can use this command. I just copy-paste it. But I need to modify it to use 3.11.3. .3. Let's do that. 3.11.3. .3. There. So it is found. This is the package, and I need to uh, you load this first. Alright, clear. Clear, clear, clear. Um yeah, let's load it. Module load this is a C core. I already had that selected, and then this one just at the back. There. 
and now Python 3.11.3 is loaded. Well done! How to determine if a Python package is already installed? That's a good question. Um, let's see if if this um, Lunar documentation shows anything about this. About so I know. Uh -huh. Yep. So here we can check our installed packages with Conda, uh, but we'll be using pip. So we need to use pip list. Well, let's do that. Pip list. There. So these are the packages already installed. I do see that there are more packages installed than I expected. And that's because probably I have too many modules active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's undo this. I'm going to purge all my modules there. So all all modules on our purge except the sticky ones, the ones that are all that always should be there. And we're going to again load the right per Python version. And now I do a pip list again. Well, this list is a bit longer because I installed stuff apparently. Um, but we are pip list is the way to go. So technically we've done it. So the answer is pip list. We did it. The Python package wheel is known to be installed. Which version? Let's take a look. Ah, here we have it. Version 0.40.0. And for Lunac, 0.40.0. Well done. Now we're going to load a Python package that comes with a module. And I do need to check. Uh, it's not installed yet. That's great. So we'll be using a module called matplotlib. It's not installed yet, we can see that here. That's what I checked here. There's no matplotlib here. So um, so it's something that we want to use, maybe. and uh, But we need to find it in, a mod in the module system. Well, for Lunark, um, if we search for matplotlib, mat matplotlib, what do we get? We get nothing. And that is, um, and then all right, what do we do then? Well, we're gonna need to search the module system ourselves. So let's take a look. Module inst using installed software. That's a good thing. We're gonna use that. So you can use module avail to find out which are available, or module spire to search that can be made available. So what I'm going to do, I needed to look for a matplotlib. And I'm going to type module spider oh, matplotlib, matplotlib, there. And we have found it. So I think we'll probably need to use this version soon. Let's take a look at the exercise. Matplotlib version 2.2.5, sure, sure, two, oh, right, so it needs to be this one. So I put it in my clipboard already. I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm, it's, it's in my clipboard. Yeah, there's no documentation on this. And that instead use the module systems yourself. Um, I've done that. And now we need to load the module. Well, I'm going to do module purge to, uh, to, 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 to be rid of everything. And I'm going to do module spider for the matlab matplotlib version I need. Uh, that's this one. And I'm going to do module load this thing, the, these things, and this thing. So here I've loaded matplotlib. Let's verify this. And it should be here, M N O P. Matplotlib, we have version 2.2.5. Check, we have 2.2.5. All right, they use a later version here. Um, we've used the old version, that's completely fine. It would be the same procedure. If you would follow any other matplotlib, would work fine too. All right, next question. So now we've used two packages that are already installed by uh, Lunark, the Lunark people, the people maintaining your cluster. 
but now we're going to find a package uh, that's not already installed and we can do that using pip using pip we can install python packages um, let's take a look so here we have the lunac documentation we look for the word pip uh, all right here it shows how to install a package already um, great so we can use that maybe yeah wrong wrong, wrong. Uh, there yeah, so we found out how to install Python packages using pip. Um, this is the recommended thing. And then uh, we need to install a Python package called MSC Nuggets. All right, so let's try there. Oh. So we're going to install MHC Nuggets. We're going to take this from the documentation. MHC Nuggets there and now it's installing MHC Nuggets whatever that package does when it's done I want to take a look uh, you want to take a look if it's actually there I've seen that uh, the documentation will tell you about you need to add it to your Python path. Um, but I didn't get this to work. Uh, maybe I did something wrong yet, yeah, says, uh, yeah, or this is something else. We have a too old version of Python, all right. Is there a, then we probably need a newer version of Python. For sure. Python, no, 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 module, spider, Python. We'll take the one from the exercise, which is there, this one. Let's see how this thing must be loaded. Module purge, there. Module load. Python thing and the GCC thing. There. Let's do a pip list to see if it's already installed because I think I have it already installed. Yeah, it's already installed. Well, let's uninstall it then. Pip remove MHC nuggets. Uh, what is it? Uninstall, uninstall. There. So I'm just removing it so we, we so that um, we can see if it actually works. Pip list. Is it there now gone? It's gone now, great. Now we're gonna use the recommended thing from the from the documentation. There. MHC nuggets. So let's say if this now works out of the box. I have a newer Python version, so it can possibly work. Um, we do use this pre this home prefix thing here. We need to add this to Python path. I, I have not gotten this to work, but let's see if it's magically added for some reason. Pip list. Can we find it? MHC nuggets, no, it's not there. then I don't know how to do this. It's not documented, so n nobody here can know how to do it. Instead, I'm going to do this. pip install MC nuggets. This will work. Um, one problem is that it will use your locally installed Python packages, so there can be version conflicts if you work on two projects at the same time. Um, for that, you can use isolated environment, also something we talk about in this course. Uh, but it's a way to, to get the thing working and you're probably happy to have a way to get the thing working. So I did pip list and there we have MHC Nuggets. With, so um, 
add the documentation I also write this down this is what what I just did this is what works and this attempts they, they all failed for me so what we have been doing in this lesson we have determined if a Python package is installed yes or no using pip we've discovered some Python packages are already installed when you load the Python module we've loaded the Python module with more uh, functionality adding more Python packages in this case matplotlib and we've installed a Python package ourselves using pip problem was that the packages we installed was put into a shared it's not an isolated environment and that's the next session of this course with that I conclude this video on using Python packages on these uh, clusters from these three centers I wish you a very good day Bye.